Welcome back again. I uh, just wanted to really quickly uh, touch on something called overflow issues. We are going to talk about this again in the next video lecture, but I wanted to mention it here. Uh, what overflow is, it's when numbers go outside of the legal range. Um, and so the question that I wanted to uh, present you with here is, what is 102 plus 36? <laughs> That's a simple question. Um, so if I was to write this code 102 plus 36 um, and then I was going to print the result um, all the time using a char, which is 8 bits, um, what do you think it would be? Um, I'll tell you the answer is not 138. Um, see if you can take a minute and see if you can figure out what it's going to be. All right, I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, write a little program. Uh, so here I just wrote those two lines. So 102 plus 36, print it. Um, so if I hit debug and run and look at my UART1, um, if your eyes are really good, it says negative uh, 118. What on earth? <laughs> so the answer to this is uh, negative 118. Um, now the question is why, right? Why was it 100 and, uh, negative 118? Um, so let's just do math like a computer. So here's 102, uh, here's 36. Hopefully, uh, and if we add them together, uh, we can see that we get this number right here. Um, the first thing that you should look at is if we're doing this as 8-bit math, um, that the most significant bit is a 1, uh, which means that this is a negative number, right? If this is a negative number, uh, then what we need to do is we need to try to convert it to figure out what it is. So we'll do our conversion thing. So we've got the negative of that. Um, I'm of course not very good um, at uh, doing things of this nature, so I'm gonna cheat. Uh, so it looks like it's got three ones at the end and then two ones in the middle. Um, and it sure enough is 118. Um, so that is why, oops, wrong tab. Um, so that's why this uh, turned out to be um, negative 118. It's because it was, um, you know, well, you saw the math. I just I lost my texture, um, and so that's why it worked out that way. Overflow is kind of a tricky issue. Um, you get all kinds of little little bitty issues. Um, this one's kind of a different point, uh, but let's say we had this crazy uh, math here. Um, so we did the math of um, 427 times uh, 307. Um, as an integer, what do you think it is? Uh, so what I would do to try to figure this out is um, go to my buddy Google, and I would say, you know, first off, what is 427 times 307? Um, and it's this number right here. So if I've got this number right here, um, and I wanted to get it in binary, um, it's this number right here. And the important thing is that you can see, uh, I mean, if you can count this, um, it's too many uh, bits total. Uh, so we actually ran out of bits. So we've got, it's 18 bits total, uh, but if we were storing it as an int, um, these top two are gonna get cut off, is literally what's gonna happen. And you're gonna be left with only these guys. So what we're actually gonna get um, is we're just gonna lose those top few um, and the answer is likely to be 17. So let's go see if we can confirm that. Uh, so I think I've got it in here. Uh, so if we run this now uh, with 427 times 307, um, we're hoping that it says, you know, yeah, 17, right? Um, so I just wanted to mention this issue now. Like I said, we're going to talk about it even more next time. Uh, but you've got to be really careful about staying within the bounds. Um, otherwise, you get overflow issues. It might lead to it becoming a negative number, which we what we saw in the in the first example, um, or it, who knows, it could lead to anything else in between. Um, so that's really all I wanted to say about overflow, since we're going to talk about it next time. Um, but really, overflow is why we care about learning how the computer stores things because you actually are responsible as a programmer for looking out for overflow issues. The programmer does not protect you, right? Like, 
it tries to make it really fast. The way things work really fast is it doesn't look for edge cases. You as the programmer are responsible for seeing when they're going to happen. And I just wanted to warn you about it. All right, that's all for this time. Uh, see you tomorrow night for some more videos.